Yeah, Danny's here too. I will talk about 
the global problem of the autism and special needs community. This is a subject that I speak about often because it's very important to me. I'm going to talk about it right now because I want everyone to be aware of one of the main problems that I advocate for. I speak to as many companies as possible about the subject, autism and employment. Employment is important because we all have to learn how to be self-sufficient in case you have for your loved ones, or your loved ones don't work, in case the plans you have for your loved ones don't work out. As most of you know that most adults with special needs, including autism, are generally taken care of by their families. But once there are no family members left to take care of them, then what will happen to them? Although some of you might already have arrangements for your loved ones to be taken care of once you're not around, what will happen if something happens to you and your plans don't work out? Many people with autism have wonderful talents like the arts, music, etc. But if they don't learn to develop their talents to become and become self-sufficient, it's possible that they can end up homeless or be sent to mental institutions for the rest of their lives. That's a terrifying thought, right? It's not just a U.S. problem, it's a global problem. It's, I'm only talking about those of us who can learn to be self-sufficient. I understand that there is a group of us that can't be self-sufficient, but still can have a meaningful employment with some support and direction. In our society, there are, sad, there are some sad and true facts about adults with autism. Many parents or guardians of individuals with autism or related special needs worry that their loved one's basic skills, basic needs for employment, housing, transportation, and social interactions will not be met. One in 50 children will be diagnosed with autism this year. 500,000 individuals with autism will become adults over the next decade. According to the many common statistics in the U.S. alone, individuals with autism will most likely fail in life. You see, this is unacceptable. We are not just statistics. Society needs to find a way to employ us, or we need to figure out a way to employ ourselves. Yes. According to the author Manif Said from NPR, two-thirds of, of young people with autism had neither had a job nor educational plans during the first two years after high school. For over a third of young adults with autism, this continued into their into their early 20s, the report found. Only 58% of high school students with autism had a transition plan by age 14, as required by federal law. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics data from June 2012, just 32.1% of Americans with disabilities are part of the nation's workforce, well below half the rate for the general population. For adults with autism, the, the report has found that 9 out of 10 individuals autism are either employed or underemployed, regardless of their IQ or education level. Many individuals with some special needs cannot find jobs because there are not enough options. Some will stay and continue living in, with their parents for the rest of their lives. Less than 5% of individuals with special needs are employed full time. We all need a better way to employ us and also make available more job choices for people with special needs and will help us create our own. At the end of the day, society as a whole is faced with a choice. Either you teach us and employ us or take care of us, or take care of us all of our lives. The choice is obvious. Most of us young adults coming of age don't really care about all of the politics. All we are or should be worried about is, how are we going to take care of ourselves? A lot of people will tell us that we cannot go to college. That's what my parents were told. But there is no reason why we can't. We just need a little assistance in the beginning. It's a devastating fact that the statistics of people with autism and other special needs are not finding jobs. When employers are having a hard time finding good employees, when there is a fantastic pool of employees in a special needs community, here are the five strategies to help individuals with autism and other special needs and other special needs find jobs. The five strategies are vocational rehab, training technical schools, internships, jobs with a consistent routine, and entrepreneurship, or self-employment. The vocational rehab educates young adults with autism to master a specific subject 
or procedure that is applicable to a career before getting prepared for the workforce. According to the Science Daily, the counselors work with, work with adults with autism and other special needs to find career-oriented, competitive paying jobs in their local communities. However, many people with autism are unaware of the services. The second strategy, train and technical schools educate young, young adults with autism to master a specific, a specific subject or procedure that is applicable to a career. The third strategy is to find autism-friendly internships to experience what it's like working. I had an internship last year at a salon, at a beauty salon for, for the last six months. It really helped me learn how to work with the public, like learning how to answer phone calls. The fourth strategy is to find jobs with a consistent routine. According to the Science Daily, some of us with autism and other special needs are more likely to succeed in roles featuring lots of consistent routine, consistent social interactions, and well-defined tasks. And the fifth strategy is entrepreneurship or self-employment. People with autism and other special needs can use their talent, whether it's in animation, mathematics, cooking, computer programming, etc., in a part of their career path. For example, as I mentioned in the beginning, I started my own animation company, Danimation Entertainment, at age 11. Here's a, a list of companies and organizations that either hire or train individuals with autism. The following companies are Best Buy, Zap, Vodafone, Microsoft, and Walgreens. And the companies and organizations that train individuals with autism are Kids Crew, Autism Works Now, Extraordinary Ventures, Inclusion Films, Rising Tide, and Futures Explored from... Okay, it's only just to give you examples but there's more companies and organizations that will help individuals with autism and other special needs to qualify for work. And if there's any, and if there is any companies like these in your area, create one. I'm sure there are some entrepreneurs out there that can create companies like this for the tsunami of us of on the spectrum becoming of age within the next couple of years. What a perfect opportunity for some entrepreneurs out there. Yet, in order for individuals with autism and other special needs to qualify for work, we have to be prepared for the interview with the following keys. What we need is presentation, good adequate, strong credibility, flexibility, preparation, motivation, and it's good to, to know someone who works at a company. In other words, it's not just what you know, it's who you know. So there you go. That's one more opportunity to create a company to teach us all, all these skills. If we pull together to change the world's perception of autism, the United States would have a stronger economy. All people with autism will be participating in the workforce. Employers will happily hire anyone, even with autism. According to the Science Daily, I mean, according to the Daily Beast article, Hiring people with disabilities isn't just the right thing to do, it's good for the business. A new study reveals that hiring people with intellectual I mean, and developmental disabilities tickets, doesn't just improve tickets. culture, it improves the bottom line. More than three quarters of employers surveyed ranked their employees with IDD as good or very good on work, motivation, engagement, and integration with co-workers, dependability, and attendance. Society's choices is to either help us learn to take care of ourselves or society may end up paying the system to take care of us for the rest of our lives. So one of my goals for everyone with special needs, including autism, to be aware of is vocational rehab, training technical schools, and internships, jobs with a consistent routine, and starting their own careers. Like me with my own animation company. I got help from my family. I would have I would not be able to start my own career without their help. By helping us, you're helping yourselves. The little help and love. Anything is possible. But remember, we cannot do it without your help. Now, I will explain about my goals. Okay, my current goal is to earn a bachelor's degree in animation and earn a MBA in business at Woodbury University so I can continue to run my animation company. 
and my life's goal is to change the world's perception of autism and demonstrate all the special abilities that people with autism have while striving for acceptance and integration within society. In my vision, people on the autism spectrum are self-capable and self-supporting, doing what they really love and, soci and socially accepted to the whole world. I also want to grow my company, Danimation Entertainment, into a major animation studio so I can employ many people with special needs, including people on the autism spectrum. As a reminder for anyone with a disability, remember to focus on your ability, not your disability. Also, remember to not give up and follow your dreams. Work towards something you love. Thank you very much.